On Saturday, December 18th, 2021, at approximately 7.26 p.m., two deputies assigned to the Norwalk Sheriff Station conducted a patrol check of a hotel parking lot located in the 12,500 block of Firestone Boulevard in the city of Norwalk. The deputies observed a vehicle in the parking lot occupied by a male and conducted a license plate check of the parked vehicle. The license plate return indicated it was a felony vehicle and the occupant was considered to be armed and dangerous. Additional details indicated 32-year-old Nicholas Hernandez, a known gang member, was wanted for assault with a firearm and discharging a firearm at an inhabited dwelling. That incident occurred in the city of Pico Rivera on December 11, 2021. The male inside the vehicle was later determined to be Nicholas Hernandez. As the deputies were receiving the license plate return information, Hernandez drove out of the parking lot and sped away from the deputies. The deputies initiated a vehicle pursuit of Hernandez onto Interstate 5 until he exited southbound Valley View Avenue and they lost sight of him. I mean, it's just be advised on the miscellaneous. It's indicating the suspect is Nicholas Hernandez, no Hispanic, DLB 813 of 89, gang <laughs> moniker <laughs> wanted for assault with a firearm, 245 PC, discharged firearm at an inhabited dwelling, impound vehicle when recovered. Hernandez proceeded to drive eastbound on Gallatin Road, and as he turned south onto Downey and Sanford Bridge Road, he lost control of his vehicle and collided with a civilian vehicle which was traveling north on Downey and Sanford Bridge Road. Hernandez then exited his vehicle and fled on foot. A sheriff's helicopter was overhead and directed the deputies to Hernandez, who was standing on the front porch of a residence in the 9500 block of Raveler Drive. While Hernandez stood facing the front door of the residence, several deputies attempted to detain him at gunpoint. Hernandez turned to face two deputies, pointed a handgun at them, and a deputy-involved shooting occurred. Got a gun? Hernandez was struck by gunfire and fell to the ground. Deputies approached and disarmed Hernandez, who was in possession of three handguns. Los Angeles County Fire Department paramedics arrived at the location and rendered medical aid to Hernandez. Hernandez was transported by ambulance to a local hospital, where he received medical treatment for his injuries. The passengers in the civilian vehicle did not report any injuries as a result of the traffic collision. A ballistic vest Hernandez was wearing at the time of the incident was recovered at the scene. A loaded polymer 80 ghost gun, 9mm semi-automatic handgun, a loaded RG Industries 38 caliber revolver and a Smith & Wesson 9mm semi-automatic handgun were recovered at the scene. Hernandez had previous convictions for assault, assault with a firearm, possession of a loaded firearm, and felon in possession of a firearm. Subsequent to this incident, Hernandez was charged with attempted murder, four counts of assault with a firearm on a peace officer, three counts of felon in possession of a firearm, shooting at an inhabited dwelling, and two counts of murder.